uh, for three days. Uh, I worked from that Monday morning until, and I went to bed uh, Wednesday night, miraculously. I didn't get tired at all. Well, at least I thought I didn't get tired. And uh, by the end of that week, and it was a major crisis, issues and everything else, uh, it, was, it, emerged, it was pretty clear if we do this pieces of work, and we did over the weekend because we cannot shut down the system, everything will be fine. So with a couple of people from the vendors, myself, and then calling people in the various locations of the planet because that's how they shift the, the rotor for something which is called change management, change control. We work from Saturday night until uh, effectively Monday mo uh, Sunday morning because Middle East needs to open by about uh, 11 o'clock their time. It was miraculous. I mean, Monday morning, forget it. What happened a week earlier? It's just not irrelevant. The, the head of operations, 400 people based in, in India, he said, Zeno, it, it would have been the best project in the bank had it not been the first week. <laughs> All right. And what happened in the first week? Uh, the, this building, it was a fairly long building. There were two some, uh, open plan, two corridors, about 100 meters. And um, I can't recall how many times I went down, up and down the, the corridor, standing in faith, in faith praying for a positive outcome. And uh, there was a glass room where I would, uh, I would go there and, and be a bit more vocal, perhaps uh, pretend I'm speaking on the phone. And people thought, I've never seen a person speaking to themselves for so long. But this guy is talking to himself, he must be losing it. And uh, yeah, it was Monday morning. And, uh, Recalling Venkat, that's his real name, uh, he, we, we, we had a little control room, command and control room, with phones, wires everywhere, and people sitting there with their PCs. He was standing at the door, he said, Zeno, and that was probably two, three days in this uh, particular situation, crisis may be another word. He said, Zeno, I don't know if I'll be here on Monday. So I just walked there, I put my, my, my arm on his shoulder, I said, Venkat, we'll be here on Monday. And we were here on Monday, and we were on the phone a couple of weeks ago. Uh, he got moved a little bit sideways, because I think it's a bit painful for senior managers to, to stand in faith in those circumstances. But he did get the one promotion, and he's working for another part of the organization with a very challenging project. And we're still here after four years. So that was another experience where standing in faith made a huge difference, I believe, because I couldn't do anything else myself. Is that, is this interesting information? Yeah, I can continue. Two more, two more, two more. very good memory. Well, the, the, the outcome of this, obviously people said, yeah, that, that, that went remarkably well and uh, how well you integrated with the team and we were good pals. All the people in India spent six months commuting to India at the time, over a year. And, uh, and I thought they would give me another assignment after that. But no, all the operations are moving in. So, so Zeno, yes, it was a good job, very professional, amazing job, but we don't have another, work, another piece of work for you. And that was 11 months having delivered a major system, and the value of that system is important because the previous system would not, was not able to run the daily operation of the bank. There was a, a big systemic operational risk. Sometimes you wouldn't be able to hold a few, deal, a few days de mature deals. The database was not adequate. So my heart sank, as you can imagine. I said, what else could I have done better? We delivered it, we got out of the dire straits, all the, the back passages, we were all alive. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a dream system. Two, a month after that, no issues reported, no issues reported. So I, I got on the phone, people I knew, and um, four days after I finished that assignment, I was unemployed for four days, I started a new job, a new, a new program. Even my manager at the time said, from the new organizer, he said, Zeno, that's miraculous. You just called us at the right time, this assignment came, you were the right person, you take it. Well, he said that a few years later, but that's, that's another miracle. And, and I can 
tell you, I, I had to, to stand there in faith that there would be something else, something else coming up. Coming. Up. So when I, they, they, the fourth story I want to rely on, which is really standing helpless in faith, was in, uh, in my current assignment, in the last uh, uh, six months, this assignment has been going on for a few years, uh, there was a piece of work I identified uh, that needed to be done, and it was crucial, uh, from December. So I, I shared this with my manager, I said, in detail, over two meetings, one was probably 15 minutes, half an hour, and the same one again. I was shut down, no way, it's not your job, it's not a problem, forget it. Oh, I don't know about that. Then I have to do it in writing, because something will happen down the pipeline. So I've sent two emails, one was an outline, which was probably three, four paragraphs, another one was a more detailed one. Shut down again. So we had a major workshop in January, that was the 27th of January, and, and I woke up grumpy. Has anyone woken up grumpy? You say, normally it's not me, I try to be positive, cheerful, smile, welcome everybody. Today I'm very grumpy, and I'm going to get it out of those guys, in a, in a good way. So we had the workshop, and I was tough on some issues, as I stated the truth. That's where it's going. At the end of the day, I told my boss, you've got to tell these guys, they've got to give me a day with three or four people to look at the system to understand what the real issues are. He said, yes, I'll, I'll tell them tomorrow morning, Friday morning. To cut a long story short, they, they gave me three hours on a Sunday, which was the last Sunday of January, I think it's the 30th of January, and uh, with three sort of key people who I took out for lunch, and I spent an extra hour after that. So I managed to extend it to six hours, and I got all the key information. Ten days after that, the, the issues I was concerned became a crisis. The, the steering committee had escalated the whole of the banking organization that knew about it. And my boss said, Zeno, you've got to get that report out tomorrow. I said, what, 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 what? what? I mean, you, you didn't even let me look at the system until the 30th of January. Now, in ten days later, you want the report? It was miraculous. So I, it was nothing but miraculous at that time. I mean, I was a minority, I was out of the picture, standing there in faith to help that particular organization. I'm there to serve them. So the, the following weekend, and uh, I hope uh, my family will see that one day, we, I said, look, we were unwell Christmas, there's a bottle or two of champagne, can we celebrate? Because nothing short of miraculous is the outcome of this event. And that's, that's what I wanted to, to share with you the only thing I, I, I found is to make a difference, is to follow this approach and stand, stand in faith that this will work for good and it will be a positive outcome for everybody. So, if I, if I summarize, I hope you're not asleep. Anyone asleep here? <coughs> right. Right. So, if I can summarize uh, from my experience and, and the findings I have is uh, for doing this work, and I hope you find it useful in your own walk of life, uh, whether it is work, in the family, whatever you do, is I, I found personally myself is being positive, proactive, practical, inclusive, get on with people and focus on the outcome, what needs to be delivered. It's, it's a very good framework and starting point. Encourage, develop and lead takes to the next level to deal with, uh, with people. I translate this to hope, faith, and love. Genuinely care for the people and for everybody for a good outcome. And I stand there in faith for a good outcome, for a big benefit for everyone. When I send an email out there, I stand out there in faith that there will be an action, an event, uh, something that will progress the work that everybody benefits. Everybody will be happy, but also everybody benefits in a genuine way within the establishment, within their team, within their personal life, something they can take home and, and use in their own walk of life. And um, do I succeed? Well, I, what I want to share with you today, I think the, the main point is, I don't know, at that point in time, I don't know if I'm going to succeed. And that, Times I have failed. I have taken a lot of eggs on my face, a lot of tomatoes on my face, vegetables, and other things, and, and disappointments. And it's very difficult to operate. So, as an encouragement, um, what 
what do I do in those cases? How do I get motivated when nobody wants to do anything? When everybody says you're a waste of space, go away. Yeah? We'll do it ourselves. We don't need your help. This is our job. We don't want to change. There's no problem. How do we penetrate that space? What I do myself, and I just want to, s to say this is something that helps me. I d people say count to 10, right? I, I, I said I, I do my own multiplication tables, <laughs> right? And that is really one times zero is zero, two times zero is zero, three times zero is zero, four times zero. And I go, and, and I think it takes me at least to 30 just to see some sense out of it. Uh, to go to the next step. And uh, it helps me because it says it, it's rock bottom, it cannot go any lower, it can only improve. And, and I need help here. And then personally I look at, uh, at Proverbs 3. If there is one page to look to read from the book is Proverbs, Pro, uh, Proverbs 3. Anyone knows Proverbs 3? Yeah. Trust in, the, in God with, uh, with uh, no, trust in, uh, in God with all your heart. Lean not in your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make your paths straight. Love and faithfulness. Um, do not forget love and faithfulness. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart, for they will bring you honor and a good name in front of, of man and God. And, it, and that really gets me back to with hope, faith, and love, and stand there in agreement to, do, to have a positive outcome. Okay. So I hope, I hope you found this useful. I hope the, the four gentlemen that gave us the question found some help to, to solve the, the questions they, they, they emailed and I shared with you. And my message for here today, we are all a work in progress. We are not perfect, we're, we're improving, at least I'm improving. I need to go back to the multiplication tables and start again. And uh, we need to look back what perhaps we have achieved. So if you are an unbeliever, I would like to encourage you to search. If you are a Christian already, I would like to encourage you to search deeper. And if you are a, an advanced, more mature Christian, maybe advanced in years, I want you to, to search further and try again. We're a work in progress. So thank you, thank you for being such a good audience today. I hope you haven't fall, fallen asleep. And uh, come again and with your friends. We, we have some materials here. You, you're welcome to take them home free, free of charge. Uh, you're more welcome to contribute to the breakfast. And um, myself and, and Dawn and other members of the Men United will be happy to spend time with you this morning. To, to listen to your business issues, to your personal issues, and, and, and try to, to help. So have a, have a very good weekend, a very blessed weekend. Enjoy the golf. Anyone goes for golf today? Oh, yes. Yes? And, um, and come back again and bring your friends. Thank you.